For at TV, the world is thinking. Lots of people are using antibiotics in uh, their personal life, in the bathroom, in the kitchen. Uh, they, they head off all those germs. Um, from what you're saying, there's no hope. <laughs> well, not only no hope, I mean, if the, the worst thing for us as a species is to try and live in a sterile environment. Okay. Uh, bacteria are a key part of our physiology. Um, so uh, I think the notion uh, that you can never escape bacteria, you know, of the tens, maybe hundreds of millions of species on this planet, most of them don't care about us. Mm -hmm. There's only a few handfuls that uh, truly infect uh, humans, even the ones that, uh, you know, share our bodies. Uh, most of those are not pathogens. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not understood at all the thresholds that change when all of a sudden uh, bacteria we have associated with us start causing disease, uh, but very few of them do. Uh, the trouble with these, uh, the chemical killers kill the whole spectrum uh, of life um, and leads to major mutations. Uh, that's why we now have, you know, I think what, when you think about new emerging infections, uh, the new uh, completely antibiotic resistant Staph aureus, mm -hmm. it's now killed more people in this last year than HIV in the US. Um, it's due just to over application of antibiotics. I'm, I'm not sure whether it's, you, you contribute any of it to people trying to sterilize their bathrooms or their hands, uh, but it's certainly to the widespread use of uh, antibiotics in, in the medical community. Uh, it, it's not clear how uh, rapidly uh, that could spread. Um, you know, if you're not near death, you don't want to go to a hospital right now um, because you have a higher chance of getting a Staph aureus infection in the hospital than you do anyplace else. So it's, uh, um, Does your technology have a workaround for that? Um, not right now. I mean, we can try combinatorial production of new uh, antibiotics. We have this huge chemical diversity in the ocean mm -hmm. that really has not been sampled. Most of the chemicals that bacteria produce are to kill other bacteria. Right. Uh, there, there are some organisms that we have that actually produce diesel fuel-like materials. They actually smell like diesel fuel, using that as an antibiotic uh, around them. So we, we've probably sampled, uh, you know, one millionth of the antibiotics that are available in the environment uh, that could be used. Um, there is a complete disincentive in the pharmaceutical industry to make antibiotics and antivirals. Um, companies would far rather treat chronic diseases because they can make a much higher profit than treating acute diseases. So companies like Eli Lilly completely shut down their antibiotic uh, department. Mm -hmm. uh, we hired some good people out of that, but you know that, that, that's that, that's helping some areas. But it's. Uh, we're going the opposite direction right now when we need new antivirals and new antibiotics more than ever.